Hey y'all, Trevor here with Red Leaf, and the missus is making her return. We uh, did this for the 12 days of Christmas, and as you can see, with it being the Sunday wrap-up a little earlier today, we have a Halloween special for you guys. So, we've got some edibles here that are new to the market that the missus hasn't tried yet. There's a couple in here that I have had the opportunity to try. I think there might even be one or two that you have. A couple of drinks. We're gonna dive into all of that, but first, we'll get our intro sliding in here. Welcome back, you guys. And like we said in the intro, today we're gonna to be going through some edibles for a Halloween-based special. So, we did go over a little bit of a Bud Tenders preview video with you for some of the details where we did open these packages up. If you want to check that out, up in the corner, click that link and you can go check that out before we get into this one where it's to be a little bit more fun, a little bit more relaxed. And as you can see, we got Scarecrow and Sexy Crow in here and we're going, I, I told you I was going to hit you with it in the video. He's ridiculous. Hey, at least I didn't get your first reaction. That one would have been better. Definitely would have been better. So, what do you want to start with? Drinks or the goodies? The goodies, K. Okay. No, drinks. The drinks? K. Okay. Get those over there. Well, and then if there's one you like, you can sip on it. So here, I will give you a cup. Party cup. For the one that I know I will drink the rest of. Because I can drink the rest of this one. This one's got the limited sugar. This is going to be Versus Original Tropic Rush. The Rapid. So this one's going to have the fast acting effect, which is a nice thing when it comes to the drink. You end up getting 10 milligrams of the THC in the whole thing, 10 milligrams of CBD in the whole thing. So we'll just give you a little shooter. And it is only a 250 milliliter bottle, not milligram bottle, milliliter bottle. So it's just a nice, small little drink. But when you crack it open. It smells good. Yeah, like this one. Uh, this one I could see you actually liking the flavor on. Like it looks like a lemonade in there. It's got kind that. Kind of smells like papalamoose juice. <laughs> <laughs> Grapefruit juice. <laughs> yeah, it's got that that kind of sharp grape. It, it, almost that fresca kind of yeah. sweet too. It's good. I really like this one. It's not bubbly. Nope. No, this, that's why I said I can have this one. <laughs> I can drink this whole thing. That was disappointing. I was that's, hoping Pablo Moose juice. That's what we're going to get here. This next one, I know you're going to like for the drink, but the flavor on this one. It smells better than it tastes. Uh, and that aftertaste. Not the best. Are you getting a little cannabis aftertaste? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't on these ones, but... I could see it with like the the sharp flavor near the end. I could see it being that cannabis style flavor. Can you mix this with booze? If you wanted that crossfade, you probably could. Yeah, <laughs> that could be a little dangerous. Like it'd be kind of good with some vodka. Just throwing it up there. Just that sharpen. Yeah, it's this is something I'm gonna enjoy sipping on the rest of the night for sure. I like, I like those verse ones. I it really. I have to keep myself from buying too many of those. I do wish it was a little more bubbly. You wish it was carbonated? Yeah. I knew I knew the carbonation was going to need to be a fix. So with that, we've bad. got... Well, yeah. Like, it's got... It, it's, it's almost the flavor of what um, the grapefruit fresco waters are. Like, the carbonated waters, not the actual pop, without the carbonation. And I think that's why I really like it because it gives me the flavor of the Fresca without the carbonation because I'm not drinking the pop or anything along those lines. Like I'll take a little bit of a sip of this, see what the flavor's like. But I have a feeling that uh, you and mom are going to really enjoy this one because this one's a Pepsi style flavor is what this is supposed to come out as. The Sweet Justice Diet. OG Cola. It's just, they just said <laughs> Pepsi. Like that original Pepsi flavor. Wow. Okay. That, okay. Okay. It smells like Pepsi. Yeah. Little like. Oh, I can cut. A little. 
like less strong than Pepsi. Ooh. Is this going to be like um, the soda stream? I don't know. It's carbonated. You can hear it oh, bubbling. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a full on. Like this, it doesn't have quite the carbonation that like a Coke or a Pepsi does, but it's got a good overall carbonation, it looks like. It smells like Pepsi. Almost like it's been left out overnight, Pepsi. Yeah. <laughs> like like flat Pepsi is what it smells like is the best way to describe it. Just because it the, it's lost the sharp, crisp like um, bite that you get. Right? And that's what I like. And that's why I like the Barks root beer mm. better than like Mug root beer and A and W root beer because it's like got that bite, cold bite to it. Oh wow, wow. I have high standards. <laughs> well, yeah, the thing is, is that... If they make it in Diet Pepsi flavor, that'd be cool. <laughs> but... It's, it's kind of like the Soda Stream, sort of. Like, it's carbonated, but not quite as carbonated as, like, Pop is. Oh, okay. Do you, you remember that black, that little black can cola that I brought home? It was called the Deep Space Cola. It was right when edibles first started coming. So it would have been nine months ago-ish. Nine, six. We both know I don't remember. Okay. Well, it was a little black cola and it's a Deep Space Cola. And I know some of you guys out there will know what I'm talking about. This tastes like a brand new Pepsi in comparison to that. Like this is great and the soda stream is a good description of it. it doesn't have as much carbonation to it because they're using a carbonated water base on it instead of building it like going for more like uh, pop or actual like that soda based approach it's it's good and it would it would definitely pinch that craving for pepsi if you wanted that edible base without going into the ripple or anything along those lines for you. Yeah. It missed the mark for me. So, that's a... I am a, like, I am a diehard Diet Pepsi person, though. And that's just not quite it. <laughs> so, you would, would you drink that, though? Not just to drink it. Not just to... No. Like, drinking with the purpose of getting a little messy? possibly <laughs> well yeah like that's what i mean like for uh, if you were craving an edible or a drink would that be something you'd get because is the flavor good enough to drink the whole can that's more where i'm coming from i don't think the whole can it'd be I'll too be much yeah like it's not a big can but i don't think it's enough for me to like pour a whole glass of it or maybe putting it over ice yeah, I, I don't was, know i was just gonna say i wonder if over ice would help and we, like, after the video, we can always try it, too, and do a little clip of post thoughts, right? We can get mom's thoughts if she's going to give it a shot. Like, I think, I think overall the quality of the flavor and for the overall cola side of things in the drink, that, for cans, is probably one of my favorite ones next to the Tweed iced teas because those ones were good. I actually think I may like the Verse one better, like, if it was carbonated. Like, I yeah. think the taste of that one is better than the Pepsi taste. But like I said, die hard, diet Pepsi person, so that's hard to beat. That was one of the reasons why I wanted her to try it, because I was curious, because they said that they got the recipe similar to Pepsi, so I'm intrigued with that one. So, you want to go to the chocolates next, or do you want the gummies or the kind of little bit weirder ones? God, what's weirder? <laughs> Well, I know you're going to like them. They're, uh, so it's essentially caramels, is what I should say. Okay, go with the caramel. So we have two caramel options. We've got the salted caramel pretzel bites, which okay, yeah. these ones will just have to straight up split because I get you can't even bite these ones apart because the pretzel just falls apart. So. And I'm, it'll be the caramel that'll be the medicated part good. of it. Yeah. So there's the rest of your pretzel too. <laughs> yeah, they've got a good little sandwich. Yeah, they're kind of cute. 
but I guess the pretzels don't hold up too well together. So. You're split real nice, actually. What? That was the broken part. <laughs> oh, that's probably why. Mmm. The. They're hard. Yeah, I was gonna say the pretzels are like no frills brand, just nothing mm. special pretzels, which I really wasn't expecting anything fancy. That caramel sticks on the side of your teeth, though, and it lingers with some flavor, which is nice. It's not bad. Like, it doesn't have the aftertaste so far. I get, right at the end, I'm getting just a hint of like a flower cannabis taste. Which, when you're using, like, the fatty, more butter type of edibles, I take, I find you get a little bit of that, which isn't a bad thing. Like, it's just enough to let you know you had. There's a water bottle right there, if you just want water. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. Like, other than it being really hard, like, if it was softer... I could probably eat a bunch of those. Oh yeah, the pre the pretzel quality was the down the worst part about that, and that's no. I meant like, well, yeah. I mean, pretzels go stale too, right? Yeah, but the, oh, and like the bag was open, like a softer caramel. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the the pretzels and stuff were just as hard when I opened it. Yeah, these though, I'm expecting oh, to be God. quite a bit better. We're gonna share that. Yeah, there's two of them in here. So Why are they in little containers? To keep them separate. So these are the Chews Gummies and Caramels. So this company does gummies and caramels. That's one of their signature things. So we've got the caramel here. I'll give that to the missus. There's two of them in here. And they're straight THC, five milligrams a piece. We'll pop, Goddamn kid proof. <laughs> we'll pop the one container. And see what it's like. Good. Oh, that smells like a good overall kind of candied flavor to it. And it's got a good covering overall. I think that the sugar on it may be a little strong at the beginning, but Ooh, we'll see. see, and this one's soft. Oh yeah, you can just pull that apart. <laughs> you can have the bigger one. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that's a very, very nice looking caramel. That's more what the pretzel needed. Yeah. The consistency. Well, you can try that with the leftover pretzel, see if it's an upgrade. Those were dangerous. So, the only thing is, this says salted caramel. It's not salted caramel. That's just totally caramel with actual sugar on top. There. Which is, it's good. It's really tasty. I like, like it. But I kind of wish I had a little bit of the actual salted caramel part, because I do like salted caramel too. Yeah, like it had a little bit of coarse on it, but that's... That, that was not, all sugar. That is not salt on the outside. That's like mm -hmm. seasoning. Yeah, this one's good. Definitely. That one's the best... One of the, the best edibles I've come across. And no aftertaste? I like that one. I would have that again. Yeah, those were... Make those little were cookies with that bad boy. Incredibly... Wow. Wow. I don't really want to move on because I'm liking the flavor that's lingering there. We still have another one in there. We can just save it. Okay. The gummies are last, let me guess. Okay. So, these, I can't remember if you tried them. We've got the Cherry Cola Pop Colab one. No. And then we've got the THC Milk Chocolate. This is a, That's a peppermint one. I don't think I've had either one of them. I don't recognize them. Okay. So we'll go with this one because this one's got the pop so rocks this is in it. Cherry cola chocolate. Yeah. This is the one I'm leery about. This one's actually pretty good. So. You had it. Yeah, I've I've had like two or three of these. You got a piece. So. Then, it smells like chocolate. Yeah. I mean, it smells like cheap chocolate. Yeah, the quality of the chocolate isn't anything. Okay, ready? Cheers. Yeah, just so 
I don't like cherry and chocolate, though. <laughs> this was bad from the beginning, sorry. But I was kind of hoping it'd be more like cola. You get ah! it. Mm -hmm. Pop rocks. <laughs> it's the cherry pop rocks that really pushed her on this. The cola is a little bit under underwhelming. These, I will give these the benefit of they're an old package. They've been in the fridge for about three months, three, four months. So the cola flavor isn't quite as uh, as potent as it has been in the past. And it is with a uh, with a new chocolate. So the Pop Rock stuff pop. That's mm -hmm. kind of cool. That's actually the part I was leery about. It's a, it's a nice little surprise, right? Yeah. <laughs> I just don't like really cherry chocolate, so sorry. No well, that's that's a fair. We're just taste testing anyway. That's a fair piece, right? Like it's not bad. Like no bad aftertaste, nothing like that. It's the I like how smooth the melt is on a lot of the chocolate is on the market because it's not like it may not be the fanciest chocolate but it always leaves a smooth kind of creamy taste instead of just that bland almost kind of sharp cocoa flavor that you get with like cheap cheap chocolates right like the eggs on easter you think they're sharp but yeah it's got like more of the cacao that like the chocolate like actual so these ones do smell peppermint-like. You can break it in half to have just a little piece. Yeah. They do smell peppermint. I do like peppermint yeah. chocolate. You'll like these. They're a little bit darker? Or they milk? They're milk, but they're a good, like, a, almost like a thin mint. Is what I describe these as because it's got Those that girl guide cookies. That too, mm -hmm. it's got that rich chocolate, but it's the creamy milk kind of a flavor. So you get the full body, but that cream on the end, which is that really, tastes like really a nice. better quality chocolate. Oh, for sure. Bang does, and the price on their stuff for the quality of the chocolate you get is great, and they have so many different flavors. Like they've got a cookies and cream. They've got a straw, uh, white chocolate strawberry one. Like they've got so many different. I feel like since the last time we did one of these videos, what, so almost a year, mm -hmm. the chocolate game has gotten better. Oh yeah, the uh, well, the it's overall gotten options have gotten better. Because the best, good. the best chocolates then were the mint bars, the mint yeah, and the, the big, mocha bars the from ones. Trail Mix. I like the truffle. Uh, yeah, yeah, the ginger truffle from Edison. I'm hoping those come back for our, um, Christmas. I was actually saying that at work. I said if Edison doesn't bring those gingerbread truffles back, they're making a mistake. Or they if they don't good. bring it back in some sort of option, they're making a big mistake because they, they did were, really, really well. They were very similar to, like, the lint okay. ones. And then, of course, who doesn't love those lint ones? So we're doing gummies. I've got the perfect crossover, actually. We've got five milk chocolate fruit chews. The very cherry vacay fruit chews. I don't they're know what- They're chocolate? They're me five milk chocolate cherry fruit chews. I don't know what they are. I don't. I think they might be chocolate covered gummy or something along those lines. I'm and then we'll go like right it. covered gummies. <laughs> well, and you don't like cherry either, so. I like cherry gummies. That's oh. exactly what it is. It looks like that's exactly what that is. That's a chocolate covered gummy. I'm I'm leery about this. Yeah. It's like a Turkish delight. I don't like Turkish delight. It's not horrible. From what I got from the cherry, it was good. Like I do mm. like cherry gummies, cherry blasters. Those are delish. Oh yeah. Covered in chocolate. Don't love it. Not at all. Would not personally buy those again. So the chocolate, I'm going to say just a generic kind of a chocolate. Nothing really yeah. fancy. Still good quality and a smooth melt. But 
nothing overly exciting, nothing really to scream about. The jelly on the inside is really nice. If they were just standalone gummies, you could eat a a, a box of that. Like yeah, those were good. They were the re- was good. good density, really good overall flavor. I'm I'm excited to uh, to see what vacay comes out. For gummy wise, because they could be doing a really good job with uh, with those. Now, do you want to do the multi pack or the sour grape ones first? Oh no, sour sour grape last. Okay, I was thinking that. I'm heard, most excited for those. I heard those ones are the best ones on the market for flavor for sour. And these grape. are mixtures, so we're sharing all of them. Yeah, we'll take we'll take a splits of each. There'll be five different flavors. I'm not sure if they tell you the flavors on here. Probably not, so. Let's take a guess. Okay. They're looking to be a grape. Come on. Let's get grape. down here. There we go. Oh, oh. we dropped the grape. <laughs> Run away. It's the grape escape. <laughs> they kind of look like wine gums at first. Yeah. Well, you can see that they do the uh, Chuzu branding that you, right? What flavor was that? Mm. They have a sugary outside again. Yeah. Watermelon? Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. That would be the watermelon. Green. I'm going to say that. Oh, that one's probably not going to show up. (laughs) (laughs) Didn't think about it. You'll just see parts of the face and finger disappear. Lime. Oh, that one's delicious. Mm -hmm. A bag of those I would... As a diabetic, though, I would highly appreciate less sugar on the gummies. Oh, yeah. (laughs) That lime one was delicious. Yellow, probably lemon. Pineapple or tropical fruit. Oh, yeah, that might be. Mm, pineapple. Yep. Tastes like a lifesaver. The white lifesaver. Oh, yeah. Blue <laughs> or purple? Blue or purple? A teal or purple? You said teal. And so we're finishing off with a ray of gummies on the grape side. A blue raspberry. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's probably the truest blue raspberry flavor that I've tried on the cannabis side of the gummies. Purple. Like, I really enjoyed that one. It's grape. Not the best grape. Good grape though. Like a good flavor, but not I would agree, not mm. the best grape candy I've ever had, but it's it's full like it's it sits on your tongue and it sticks for a while but all of those gummies had that kind of flavor right where it's that full flavor which is nice lime was my favorite lime was good blue raspberry which is surprising because i usually don't like blue raspberry was a close second uh yeah yeah i'd say so too i feel like the one that had the least amount of flavor was the watermelon yeah well watermelon you're always either overwhelmed or searching for it overwhelmed or <laughs> underwhelmed yeah exactly <clears throat> like it's really overall an enjoyable package for the variety i would put verse their variety pack over these ones i know you've tried those ones the black bag little squares jolly tastes like jolly rancher salad oh yeah pack. yeah okay i yeah. know as soon as i said jolly ranchers it was trigger that memory because it was good those ones are really really good okay now last for the last taster, the back 40 sour grapes. So excited. See how they, oh. Fun story, I had so much great diamond tap as a kid that I hated grape flavor. That's yours. Until I became an adult. <laughs> and then I started loving grape flavor again. Okay, let's see what these ones are like. Cheers, you guys. It also has sugar on the outside, but less sugar. Mm-hmm. Wow. And a different consistency of actual gummy. There is a tart kind of a flavor when you get into the middle of it, which is surprising because it's usually 
on the outside I find like it's not super puckering but it's mm, this one it's, has an aftertaste it's present are you a pass on these yeah sorry I, I'm <laughs> a little disappointed yeah they, it's there I, I can was, taste it yeah aftertaste is my like biggest issue with most edibles i like this one brand the original <laughs> smokies that is what he started me on and that has been the best one so far wow. just in general those caramels the, and that but, but ice they don't milk have, yeah the caramels <laughs> were really good like the salted caramel caramels those were good oh, i do have God. to admit but like smokies doesn't have aftertaste on any of their no. stuff no, it's and really good quality. And you tend to want to eat a whole bag. Yeah, the gummies are really, really good quality there. Yeah. But. But, I'm not going to lie, I feel like this has gotten better than last Christmas, too. Oh, and this is like only just. candies have gotten better. And this is just kind of that sampler. If we were to go strictly into the chocolates, I'm sure we would find a lot of the chocolates that you like. Because with, like, we've got how many different cookies and cream based chocolates and I know you don't mind that as a treat every once in a while and once in a while yeah well like just the little squares that would be the same size as these of that have we tried like an orange chocolate because I, yeah. I love chocolate uh, they have the a Terry's chocolate orange they have a dark orange chocolate on Maybe the market and I time. know I've got that for last Christmas. I was pretty sure I actually had that. I think that was the one last Christmas that you, was one of the few that you enjoyed. Because there was a lot of chocolate recall. last time. I'll, we'll have to go back and check that video. But honestly, I'll link that video for you guys if you want to go and check back and see what the edible game was like there. But uh, for now, we're going to wrap this one up if we do end up getting some input from down below and uh, the sweet justice of that OG Cola on ice. If we do end up inserting that part of the video, we'll do that right now. If not, we're just going to go ahead and have our end card slide right in here. Hope you guys enjoyed. This was a riot and uh, almost a half an hour's worth of content. So, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll definitely keep these up if you enjoy seeing them. With that being said, let's uh, slide our end card in here. Up in the corner is going to be my logo. Hover over that. Click the subscribe button or the bell notification to be notified anytime. One of these videos go live and if you guys are checking it out on your phone or any mobile device go on and apply not apply but activate the notification option on it so that you guys get the push notifications so you get to see anytime we go live or have a new video uploaded down below two videos for you one's the most recommended the other one's the most recently uploaded check out either of those but for now cheers and we will see you in the next one That, Be out. That was fun, wasn't it? Oh, my hair looks awful. Um, not my favorites. <laughs> that pop. Ugh.